Braden is back right now. He's got some helpful advice for parents who are about to start school holidays. Well, not the parents, but the kids are, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. well, they are. The thing is, uh, other people think about school holidays long before parents do, I think, because they seem to come around so often. <laughs> Um, so oh, no, parents think about them, trust yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mel's going, what would he know about school holidays? <laughs> yeah. There's the man with no children. <laughs> Look, yeah, this is one, perhaps, if you do manage to get the kids along to Nana's or something, uh, tomorrow night, dinner and jazz with Nathan Haynes in Auckland. Now, Nathan Haynes, he's, I, I think he's our best jazz musician. Um, people think jazz and go, mm, it's not really my thing. But you know what? Sitting down with a nice glass of wine, some peace and quiet, beautiful dinner at Harborside in Auckland. Oh. Sounds nice and really to me. chilled out music. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's all about the ambience. So even if you don't think you like jazz, it might just be your cup of tea. So this would be one to just do the whole Zen thing Relaxed right already. at the start. Yeah. No, <laughs> just cool. listen yeah. to that music in the background. And I know Harborside, one of my favourite yeah. restaurants, but you combine all that together. Yeah. You'll have a primo night. Be a great night, so yeah. check that one out. Um, off to Wellington now at the Tararua Tramping Club in Mount Vic. This is going on from tomorrow and all through the holidays. Um, the Owl and the Pussycat, do you remember the poem? The Owl yes. and the Pussycat went to sea in a beautiful peacock boat. That is the one. So this is being brought to the stage. It's being mixed up a little bit though because uh, Beatrix Potter had a little pig Robinson as well. You remember the original poem, The Owl and the Pussycat, had a pig with the ring through its nose, so they've kind of merged Little Pig Robinson, The Owl and the Pussycat, and they're putting it on stage for the kids right through the holidays, which is, um, it's, it's one of those things, it's an age-old tale, it's something that parents can actually sit through because they know the story and they'll enjoy that one. <laughs> it's very so, important. Um, yeah, absolutely. Into the land of the bong trees, as they say. So that's on in Wellington. Uh, back to Auckland too, and Sky City are doing something really cool, and it's all based on pirates and mermaids. Now show me a a seven-year-old that doesn't love pirates. Mm. I was obsessed. Or mermaids. Mermaids or are very mermaids. in at the moment. Exactly. So this is a good one. And uh, they're basically saying, ahoy, pirates and mermaids. The thing that uh, scares me a little bit, but I'm sure the kids are into it, you walk the two 220 metre high uh, sort of plank up the sky tower. I hate heights. So I'd be, be no good. No. I'm not sticking my, my hand up to take anyone's kids up the sky tower. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. But you know what? This is this is another cool thing just for the kids to do, and it runs right through the holidays. Back to Christchurch, and have you guys had anything to do with Kids Fest at all? No. 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 Kids Fest is it's been running for gosh, it's probably well before I was even at school, and uh, it's a huge thing right through the holidays. Whole lot of stuff for kids but this weekend is the lantern festival in the square right yes i've heard yeah. i've heard about the lantern festival yeah yeah and so it's a great it's a great night out it's very family focused and the kids can oh, have a go beautiful. a lot of kids making stuff to take along as well so it's it's probably a little bit more kind of real than some of the other lantern festivals we might see so that is um it's huge and it's departing from the square at 5 30 tomorrow as well so Lots of stuff going on this weekend and right through the holidays. Excellent. Nice work. Well, we're looking forward to you keeping me up to date with what we can do with said <laughs> children throughout holidays because sometimes two weeks can seem like quite a long time. <laughs> Bring them on Love the show. Love them dearly. Quite a long time. Oh, they'll be in that far corner, trust me. <laughs> All of the weeks, trust me. Yeah, Holly will look up. Yeah, she's going to yeah. Hey, thank you so much for that, Brandon. No worries. And Have a good we, weekend. We will see you next week.